I was diagnosed with a very rare form of eye cancer called choroidal melanoma. It was devastating. I was diagnosed with uh, tonsillar cancer on March 30th of 2016. They wanted to do surgery. The fact that it's so close to your focal cords is of great concern. Breast cancer was certainly not on my radar. I mean, it's shocking. I had several PSA scores with my primary doctor. It started escalating over a period of time. I was diagnosed for prostate cancer. At the end of last summer, I was laying on my couch watching a show, and I leaned over and felt the underwire in my bra poke at something on the side of my breast, and I found a lump there. So I went and had it checked, and through screenings and things, uh, was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma. I didn't have any outlying symptoms or so. It was just the fact that the PSA scores was uh, continuing to rise. I ended up uh, having a biopsy, and they took samples, and it turned out to be cancerous. Because it had penetrated the soft palate, they were going to have to trim that back. So depending on how much they had to trim, it could actually open that up where I'd need a feeding tube forever. I sat down at the computer, and I started to Google non-surgical treatments. The first thing that came up was proton therapy. I was informed that proton therapy would target the tumor and not damage anything else around it. This was a daily treatment five days a week. It was about 15, 20 minutes. There was a very little discomfort, if any at all. I feel very blessed and lucky to have had the stability of the Proton Center and that treatment available. My prognosis is great. My choice of having proton therapy was excellent in my viewpoint. I'm very happy I went that way. This is a terrific place. Everybody is here to try and figure out what they can do to make it more comfortable during clearly what is the worst time of your life. I chose to save this mask because it's a reminder not of the cancer, but of beating the cancer. It's difficult to put into words what I would say to the people at the Proton Center and to my doctors at Northwestern. They saved my life.